mambo ya ukulima, mambo ya mifugo, mambo yote ya kuleta maendeleo watu waonekane ni wana Kenya na wana, wana furahia nchi yao. Uh, you know, we want to be closer to where other people are. To Kenya is so much behind. Uh, and I want to change that narrative. That uh, out there uh, will remain poor and poor forever. It has to change now. Uh, to Kenya must be, uh, you know, getting on the right track. Kwa siku miya moja, tuakisha kwamba to Kenya miyeweza kupata maji. Miji zote za to Kenya si miyapata maji. Tutaweka bowl kama elfu moja Turkana kwa mara moja. Priority ya kwanza ni maji, ya pili ni maji, kwa kisha maji ya kutosha hiko, ili tuwese kupatia wananchi wetu maji. Mifugo, sasa hivi wako Uganda, Ethiopia na South Sudan, tuwese kwa patia maji ya kutosha. Ya tatu ni kwa kisha hiyo maji, emefanya ukulima. We have rivers in Turkana, river Takwil, river Kerio, river Suguta, the river Tarachi. Hii maji hote napotea. And that's why Turkana has big water aquifers. Aquifer moja Turkana kama yalutikipi is 240 billion cubic meters. It's the size of lake Turkana put under. That's what we have in Turkana. We have five aquifers. Maji mengi sana. Na tunawese kubalisha Turkana. Tuweke ukulima ya kutosha. Tuweze kulisha watu yetu. Alapda swali la mwisho. Kwa opponents wako wako kwa isi ya governor. Naambia nini? Nawambia ya kwamba mimi nimekuwa na usoevu ya miaka nyingi sana. Nilingia na upinzani kwa mambo wa siyaza miaka ya 1997. Wakati ilikuwa ni upinzani ya kano. Nikawa an opposition MP. Nikaja kuwa mbunge kwa mara tatu. Nikiwa waziri mara kama nene sasa. Kwa hivyo nina usoevu ya kutosha. Nimekuwa pia senator. Na before I came into politics, nilikuwa nafanya kazi na international organizations. Kwa hivyo nina usoevu mwingi sana. Naomba watukana wanichague. Wenzangu wale tumesimama nao e, ni watu wa usoevu ndogo. Wengi ni vijana wadogo wamekuwa na Munda mdogo kwa serikali. Kwa hivyo ningependa kufanya kase nao. Kuna viti nyingi. Lakini kiti cha governor, Turkana. Inataka uzevu. Inataka mtu ameka kwa serikali. Inataka mtu anaelewa serikali vizuri. Inataka mtu anaelewa Turkana vizuri. Nimekua Turkana naelewa shida yao. Kwa miaka 25 kwa serikali. Inaonyesha ya kwamba nina hiyo uzevu. And this is the narrative that has been put there. That Turkana is a poor country, county, we need to give them enough food, we need to continue helping them. That is not my key priority. My key priority is economic empowerment. It's how they can grow their food. It's how the fisher folk can get into electric Turkana and get fish. How we can empower the livestock sector to help them market their livestock. Of course, there and there you will get some uh, drought and a famine. The government will help them. But the key priority will be economic empowerment. Socio-economic empowerment. That is what Turkana needs. And that will resolve all the issues you are talking about of uh, independency, uh, dependence on, uh, on food aid. Food aid is good. But I think prolonged food aid is not good. And that's why we need economic empowerment, get enough capital, put into people, create businesses for them, build the, you know, the, comma, the, commerce, the, the chamber of commerce in Turkana, empower women, empower youth, create informal you know, jobs for, for our youth. That will change our people. Junet ni moja wetu kwa asimio la umoja. Na asimio la umoja tukiwa chini ya rise wetu Jaramogi Amolo Odinga. Ni ya kualeta wa na Kenya pamoja. Ni kupatanisha watu. Lakini tukiendelea na wenzetu kama kina junet. Wakiwa wakiendelea kutukana watu. 
na wewe na fikra ya kugawa watu Juneti ni ODM mimi ni Jubilee zote ni familia moja It's unfortunate to make those statements My major achievement has been in so many areas First when I went into cabinet I will not talk about the opposition there was little during the Kanu era but in my life as a Kibaki minister in my life as a cabinet secretary you know petroleum and mining so much happened during my time I was a minister of state in the office of the president in charge of special programs that is when I started the, the National East Control Council I brought the the, the regulations and and uh, you know empowered the National East Control Council we dealt with disasters we dealt with the HIV and AIDS I supported that I supported the, uh, the ASAL, the Ari lands programs that created, you know, uh, the northern counties in preparing the drought mitigation and uh, responses. I came to the Ministry of Water. We did the Water Act 2002. The, five, the, the laws that now govern this country were done during my ministerial life. I came to the Ministry of Labor. I created the five labor laws. The new five labor laws were done during my time. I served in the governing council of the ILO, supported this country, created those laws, ensured Kenyans, uh, you know, are protected in the labor sector. In the Ministry of Petroleum, we discovered oil, and we have uh, tested the market. We are now doing a pipeline to ensure we deliver the crude and commercialize it. That is what I've done.